Let's go guys, it's Raul TV, Team R for you all, your favorite YouTube mechanic. We're back again in the garage. And what we're doing this time around is I've got a 2015, 14, 15 kind of thing, Hyundai i40, 1.7 diesel. And we're gonna go ahead and replace the fuel filter. Not the easiest fuel filter in the world, pretty hard actually. Um, but you know what, Raul TV, with you every step of the way. Let's go. Right, the fuel filter is buried in there. As you can see, it's right down there. Okay, so um, they've not helped us out here. Hyundai, come on, sort it out. You could have just put it more to this side, get your hands in there, or somewhere else, you know, accessible. Right, so no point blabbing on about it. Let's go ahead, we're gonna take the air filter off. Take that off from there, take, take it out from here. Two ways to do it, either we're gonna, you can take it off from here, or if you go all the way down there and take it off from there. What I'm going to do is, I'm not going to bother taking it off from down there. And take that off. I'm just going to take it off from here. Okay, that way, I mean, we just need to gain access to there. So, take that off. Happy days. Basically, it's just a 10 milli socket head on that. Take that off. Take that switch off. Let's go. Okay, next job for us guys is we're gonna go ahead and take the battery off. Uh, battery leads, basically 10 mil here, 10 mil here, and I think it's a 12 mil socket head bolt down there. Take them three off. So 10, 10, 12, take it off, take the battery lead off, take the battery out, let's go. Okay guys, we've got the battery off, battery is off, air filter box, the top half is, uh, of it is off. What we do is, to make our life a lot easier, we, we need to take this battery tray off, okay? So first things first, uh, we should have done this in the beginning, but I mean, we'll do it now. Uh, 10 mil here, 10 mil there, and 10 mil down there. Take them three off, this section will come off, and then we'll go ahead and tackle the battery tray. Okay, the air filter box is totally off. That's out of the way. What we're gonna do now is the uh, ECU here. Okay, don't go unplugging the ECU, okay? We don't wanna unplug the ECU. We're gonna move the ECU out of the way. That's that's about it. If we go unplugging it, then when you come back to refitting it, if you damage the pins and things like that, big, big trouble. Uh, so what we're gonna do is dead, dead easy. We've got two 10 milli nuts here. One, two, them two here, this one and this one. Take them two off. I've already slackened them. We're gonna take this one off here, down here. Okay, so then that way the, air, uh, the uh, ECU will move out of the way. We can gain access to the uh, fuel filter. But, I mean, to make our life even easier, we're gonna take that off and we're gonna take the battery tray off as well. So first things first, let's take the ECU, let's move it out of the way. Okay guys, there we have it. The ECU is out of the way, like I mentioned, one bolt there, 10 milli, and two 10 milli nuts on the side. Okay, like I showed you before. Take them off. We can gain access to the fuel filter now there right but as you can see there's something in the way this i mean i'm not happy i'm not happy with it okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take this battery tray off dead dead easy to take, take the battery tray off basically 12 milli one here two here three and take that one off as well okay and the battery tray will move out of the way ecu will move out of the way you can gain 100 percent access to it and let's take this bad boy off Okay guys, my bad, there's four, four 12 millis, one round the back here, where the ECU goes, like that, it's just directly beneath that, right, so my bad, it's uh, four 12 millis, right, so let's take this one off as well. Right, team r for ul we are here, we've managed to make it to the fuel filter, let's start off by taking these wiring plugs off, take this one off. Take this one off from here. This one, I think you might need to get a little hook around the bottom here. That's where the clip is. Flick the clip this way like that, and then pull it. There we go, that one's off. Uh, we're gonna take this one off, obviously. It didn't come off properly, so make sure we separate that. All you have to do, get two arms on it, push it in, push it on the switch, and then take it off. 
then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take these pipes off right uh, we'll, i'm going to show you how to take them off dead dead easy but first things first let's get all these wiring plugs everything out of the way okay as for the fuel pipes you can't really get them wrong because one's longer than the other one okay and it's all fixed onto there so you can't really get them wrong the way uh, the only thing I would recommend you do is if you want to you can if you don't want to you don't have to it's entirely up to you uh, As you can see all the wire and plugs are out of the way uh, if you want to mark it you can mark it put a little mark on that to that Then you can't get wrong 100% I mean as it is You can't really get wrong because that one won't, won't really go on to that one because it's too short The way to take these off can you see that little blue piece there a little uh, like a push on clip kind of thing We have to push it there's one on either side one on this side one on this side and one on this side okay so we have to push both sides in and we have to pull it off basically i need it uh, i need both hands one hand to hold this pipe the other one to pull it off that's what i'm going to do uh, so basically push these two sides in okay Let's see if i can do it without no i have to hold that one so push these two blue clips in and then just pull the pipe off okay them two pipes are off as you can see you can't really get them wrong because one goes one side the other one goes on you can't get them wrong you when you get to that stage you'll see it you cannot get them wrong right what we're going to do now is the next bit is can you see these two 10 millis here this one and this one we're going to go ahead and take them off okay and we might need to take the complete bracket off because i don't think this filter will come out totally okay so what we're going to do is take them two off 10 milli here and here these two 10 milli nuts off the whole bracket should come off We'll take it on the vise, replace the uh, fuel filter. Let's do it. So basically, take them two off, the whole thing will come off. Uh, then you can take them two off on the vise or take them off here, whatever you want, whichever way you're comfortable. So let's take them off and uh, let's go from there. Right, there we have it. The fuel filter is totally off the car. I've still left them two on, like I mentioned. You can just take the top ones off, the whole bracket will come off. What we're going to do now is we're going to take these totally off. I mean, don't you take it off totally if you want to. Take that one off. Take that one off. Get them two out of the way. Move that out of the way so you can see it. So we're going to take them two off. There we go. Right, now that I've taken them two off, Okay, there, them two are off. A little bit of spread there. Uh, we're going to take this 10 milli off here on this side. I'll show you guys. This one off here. That's off. Hopefully, now I don't see anything else holding it. This should just slide up like that. Wait, take, take these pipes off. My bad. Okay, them, them two pipes are off there. So that should now easily slide up. No messing whatsoever. Happy days. Put that to a side. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna clamp this, all right? But we're not gonna clamp it really hard kind of thing. All we're gonna do is, can you see this bolt here? This one here? We'll just put it on the vise, not too hard. Just, that's about it. All right, we don't wanna go mad with it and then crack all this, you know, all the top housing and everything so just just to hold it basically or if you want get somebody to hold it and you take it off okay so what i'm going to do get some big clamps on this and let's take it off right as you can see there that that is totally slack I've, what i've done i've uh, got the big dogs on it and uh, slackened it as you can see that look it's starting to move right uh one top tip is when you're taking it off make sure it's facing downwards okay the filter because if you have it the other way around uh, all the whatever fluids in, inside there whatever fuels inside is going to come out make a mess everywhere uh, so make sure you have it facing downwards right so when you take it off you take it off like that put the new one on let's go for it all right there we go there's the new filter there's the old one i've took the sensor off the water sen sensor on the bottom take i've took that off just replaced it onto that one yeah you you are going to get a bit of spillage and everything well hey ho that's part of the you know and parcel of the job uh, so what i'm gonna do now that is on that's only hand tight just put it on hand tight let's get this one back on there make sure all the seals are there and everything yeah make sure all the seals are there so clockwise yeah. 
bang that on, tighten it up. Let's finish everything off. Let's go. Right, we've got it back on there. What we're going to do is put this sleeve back on, same way as it come off. Remember, what we'll do is we'll put it on. There's a little, there's a little 10 milli around the back here, just there. Make sure that lines up. When that lines up, everything else will line up. Happy days, you're good to go. Let's do it. Right guys, everything is built up. Them two are back on. That one on the back. If you get that one lined up around the back, everything else should be on. We've got the pipes back on. Everything is on. Let's go, let's fit it in reverse order. Let's get it in there. Obviously I need two hands. Let's get it in there. There we go, that's on there. We've got, we're gonna get the pipes back on. Okay, after getting the pipes back on, fit everything in re reverse order, get the wiring plugs back on, and uh, let's do it, let's go. Right, there we have it. The pipes are back on, the bolts are back on, wires are back on, you can't really get them wrong. Uh, what we're gonna do now is fit everything else on. We're gonna fit the battery tray on, the air filter box back on, ba battery back on, everything in reverse order. Let's finish it off, let's start this bad boy up. Let's do it. Right, okay, battery is on guys. We just need to put the battery leads back on. Fuel filters back in there. Uh, we're gonna put the air filter back, uh, box back on, air filter back on. We've got a new filter to go in with it. It's in, I mean, since you're taking everything off, you might as well just change that as well. So I'm um, gonna put that back on. Um, let's finish it off. All right guys, that's it. It's done, all done and dusted. Put the battery on, air filter box back on, everything is on. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna try starting it up, right? Special method, I mean, no special method really. You have to turn the key and start it up, but if it doesn't start up first time round, right, don't don't be alarmed, okay, it's just that it's got air in the system, we need to bleed the air out, we need to get the air out, no, no, no special way really, okay, um, I'm going to show you guys. Right, the thing is manually, right, there's a pump, manual pump on there, can you see there, right on the top there, so we're going to press that a few times, get some fuel in the filter, see that's gone quite hard now, so what we'll do now is once that is won't pump anymore we're gonna go inside the car we're gonna try starting it up right so i'm in the car here okay so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna start it up but when we're gonna start it up right the thing is we need to press the gas okay make sure you press the accelerator make sure you try to keep the car running as much as you can give it some gas get it through that barrier basically through the uh, uh, you know get it to bleed and uh, it should be all right so anyway let's uh let's try starting it up clutch down Push down and let's go. Keeping the gas on, keep, keeping the gas going. Keeping the gas going, keeping the gas going. Keep the gas on. You see, it's try, it, it tried to stop then, but obviously we pushed it through. We should be all right now, we're good to go. Plus on this one, on this one, we've got a manual pump. That's why it's all right. Some of these uh, ones with the electronic pump or the high pressure pump, it takes a long time to bleed through. VW, thumbs up to VW. They, they've got it all sussed out. It bleeds straight through. Ford, all right, Peugeot and things like that, not the best, not the best in the world, okay? So anyway, this one's bled through, pumped it, bled through, job done. There we go, it's all running. Happy days. Right, so that's it, that's how we check, replace the fuel filter guys on a, a 2014-15 kind of thing Hyundai i40 1.7 diesel uh, I mean it's not the easiest job in the world uh, but if you take everything off then it makes it all easy do it the way I said you I mean you can the, you can gain access to it by moving the ECU you can you know you can gain access but you don't want to mess about take everything off like I mentioned like I showed you guys should be good to go anyway guys like share and subscribe to my channel hit the bell button for me leave a comment in the comment section and uh, yeah I'll see you guys soon